Okay, so today's topic is about <laughs> kids. Woo! Woo! Uh, you know, we have a mommy to be over here. First timer. Yeah, so, and I'm not a mom, but this topic kind of came up when we were talking, or when I did a video recently on a baby, baby and a wedding. That's the name of the, the, the video. So you can check that out. It's going to be in the description box. You know, make sure you view that <laughs> so you can get an idea of why this whole topic started. But um, let me know why you, in the beginning, were afraid to have kids. So my story is when I was younger, everybody know this, my mom, my sister, when I was younger, I didn't want no kids. Like, why would you want to have kids? Like, why not worry about yourself? And kids is a burden. Like, you have to worry about taking them to the doctor to get close. And I was selfish. I know it sounds kind of selfish. Like, it's all about me. Like, why would you want to worry about kids when you can just worry about yourself? You don't have to worry about any baggage. Uh -huh. So I was at that point. Like, I was young. I'd probably say I was like 12 or 13. And then later on, not too long ago, I was like, you know what? I would like to adopt kids. I want to adopt every nationality of kids. <laughs> I, I was like, I want to have a black kid. I want to have a Spanish kid. I want to have an Asian kid. I want to. I want all these kids in my house, you know. But I don't want no relationship with no guy because guys are problems, and I don't want. I, I, and you would think I come with a. I come from a home that I have married parents, but they've been together since twenty eight years because I'm twenty eight. So they've been together for that long. So you would think a girl like me would want to get married. I never had marriage in my plans. Never had like, oh, I want to be the wife with a, you know, with our little family with a picket fence. No, I was like, girl, I would rather have adopted kids and just myself, and I just take care of them because guys are problems and. Guys, you know, there's so many things that guys can do. They lie in your face and, oh, I love you. You're the only girl I want. But once they end up in the yep. sheets and they're out the door, they don't want nothing with you. And I didn't, I didn't want that. Preach it. <laughs> you know, I didn't want that. So then later on, you know, I had different relationships. And, of course, they let me down. And not all of them. I'm not going to say all the guys let me down. You know, we probably just had our differences. And, um... I'm telling you, when I'm in a relationship, I bend my back, and every time I'm with them, I'm thinking, okay, I did kind of open up, like, you know, maybe I'm, you know, well, the last relationship, I was like, you know what, maybe I do want a family, and I did want a family, you know, but like I said, differences happen, things come up, but then I met Mark, who changed the whole story around, you know, I didn't want to get married, I, even with Mark, I, I said to myself, I don't want to get married. Even when you guys first started and you knew, like, it was the real thing, like, you're so scared? Yeah, like, marriage is a big, big commitment. It's not like you can break up and say, I don't want to see you anymore. It's yeah. not like that. It's forever. Yeah. And I'm st I'm a Christian person. I know people say, oh, I'm a Christian person, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to divorce because in the Bible, you can't divorce yep. unless that person committed adultery, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the only way or the person, God forbid, passed away, mm -hmm. you know. So you can't have a divorce. You have to work your marriage through. Yep. So marriage is a big commitment. So that's why I really didn't want to get married. But, and then again, I didn't want to have my kid in wedlock, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so me and Mark, you know, I was surprised when he proposed to me at the baby shower and I was thinking, you know what, I love him and I guess he could deal with my psychotic ways because I am crazy and I am demanding. So if he could deal with that, then I guess, you know, it can work, you know. And I, I came about having, you know, a baby on the way and a wedding on the way as well. Um, but the thing, I'm going to rewind a little bit. Um, oh, my gosh, I totally forgot you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There was something I had to tell you. Oh, yeah. When I found out I was pregnant, I told my sister. My sister wasn't shocked. She wasn't, oh, my gosh, congratulations. She was like, I thought you didn't want to have any kids. <laughs> and I was like, but, you know, you grow up and things change. Yeah. Simone. Like, you you know, you, you reach that maturity. Like, you know what? I do want to carry. I want somebody to carry my, well, not my last name, but my genes to carry on. My, you know, just... A little me to carry on mm -hmm. and so for the father so his last name could carry on you know that's what god brought you into the world mm -hmm. to multiply yeah he didn't want you to be just yourself and single you know live by yourself he yeah. wants you guys to multiply that's the reason of purpose and to me i'm not a, i know this tmi I'm, i don't like really <sighs> sex i <laughs> i just believe sex is just to 
I mean, yeah, to please your partner, but sex is to multiply, you know, make that love to create something beautiful. That's how I feel about sex. <laughs> I don't feel like sex, I mean, yeah, you should do it to help, you know, when you're married, you know, which I am now, but like, it's just, sex is just to create something beautiful. To, and in you my know, eye. that's how it is in the Jewish faith. They usually, they're supposed to only do it when they're trying to get a baby. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you know. So I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it's TMI, but that's just my belief, you know, but. No, it's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and it's true. There's a lot of truth to it. You know what I mean? And I think my story is, like, very similar to yours. The only thing is, like, I really didn't ever want kids, not even adopted kids, <laughs> until a certain point. Um, but I think the main reason, because this goes all the way back, to, I mean, all the way back to when I was young. When I was, like, three years old, when I started getting my dolls and stuff, instead of playing with them like normal kids would play with their dolls, you know, like cradle them and feed them and stuff like that. My 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 little dolls were going through like very like grown up relationships. Like <laughs> they were, you know, dating this person today and they were dating this person tomorrow. Um some of them were in gangs, you know. Oh my god. That's, that's the way I played with them. <laughs> and I found that fun. Like I never played house. You yeah. know how kids do that? Like I never did that. Like that wasn't that wasn't in the cards for me, I guess. I didn't even realize it. So, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that my mom was a single mom, like mm. most of her, or most of my life, I should say. And I just kind of piggybacked off of what she was doing, you know? She was an independent woman. She was taking care of herself. She was happy. Um, as great of a childhood as I had, I felt like my mom really struggled a lot to take care of her four kids. And then I was thinking the same way you were. I'm mm -hmm. like, why would you want to bring kids into the world so they could live, you know, these, these lives? And then I started thinking about, like, people dying and people getting sick yeah. and, like, people being depressed, you know, people going through tough, terrible times during breakups. I'm like, why would your kids want to be dealing with this after everything you've dealt with? That's the way I thought sure. of it. Like, I didn't want to bring these kids into the world to be unhappy. I felt like I was being mean to them for doing something like that. Um, but again, like what you're saying, God's purpose is to put us here on the earth to be fruitful and multiply. And I think I was very selfish in the way I was thinking. Um, it's not about me. <laughs> God wants, he put us here for a reason. And if I give birth to a child, that child is going to be here for a reason. Yes. So they serve a purpose here. Yes. It's my job to help the, ch the children that are coming to fulfill their purpose for God. Yes. You know what I mean? And so eventually I started feeling like that was the way to go you know in my last relationship I feel like in the beginning I wasn't I still was in the whole I don't want kids I don't want to be married mode but like as it went on like I started thinking differently I was like okay like I can see myself with this person and stuff like yeah. that and I can see myself having kids because he seemed like a really, like, I see the way that he is with his mom and his sisters. And I was like, well, he would be a really good father. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and I started thinking that way, but I didn't share that with anyone because everyone who knew me knew that I did not want kids. <laughs> <laughs> My mom always said, I want grandkids, but I know I'm not going to get it from you, Tiffany. So yeah, it was the other two. <laughs> yes, the other two. Because I have other sister, she doesn't want kids either. Oh, no. So yeah, but she said, I can depend on the other two, but I know I'm not depending on you, Tiffany. But I started thinking, but I didn't want to tell anyone just yeah. yet. And I'm glad I didn't share that with everyone because the relationship didn't work out, unfortunately. But... I was still fearful that if I was to have kids, that the same thing would happen. The marriage would fall apart, mm -hmm. and then I'll be left as a single mom. I don't want to be a single mom. I told you what my mom went through. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah so I didn't want to do that again. But then, then God conditioned me back in my brain. He was like, listen, Tiffany, stop being selfish. This is not about you. <laughs> if this is about me, you have to be fruitful and multiply. You can't be living in fear all the time. That's, yeah, that's what the risk. enemy does. Yeah. That's what the enemy does to us. You know, he puts fear into us. I'm supposed to trust God that he's going to do what he's 
he's going to do. Yeah. And whatever happens, happens because that's the way he planned it. So, so yeah, that's my story. I'm definitely working on it. And I know for a fact, whether or not I want kids or not, I know if I was to have a kid that I would love that kid more than I love myself. You know you what I mean? To. I would take care of that kid from, like, no matter what they, they do to me, <laughs> and whatever they put me through, I'm still going to love them unconditionally. That's one thing I'll never take away, but just the whole fact that I might have a kid and I might be doing it all on my own is what I was fearful of. But I'm sure that when I find someone someday or that they find me, because it's, it's whoever findeth a good <laughs> wife, <Yeah. laughs> finds a good thing. But whoever <laughs> finds me, you know, we'll get married, you know, we'll have kids and we'll have a perfect, perfect family and God and love. Of course. Mm -hmm. God first. <laughs> God first. But yes, that was our story. You know, if you guys have any similar stories, please let us know because we will love to hear from you. Just comment down below and we'll future your comment on the next vlog. We will. Okay. We don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> comment. And if you, if you guys feel what I'm coming from or is Tiff coming from, let us know. Like, we would really love to know. Hashtag Christian problems. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>